hello guys welcome to another firebase tutorial in this tutorial we will learn how we can add firebase to our android project we will use the same firebase project as we created in our previous video so if we go to official documentation of firebase link is in description the official documentation says uh, we have two options to add firebase in our android project option one is uh, using firebase console and option two using android studio firebase assistant so in this video we will go for the option two so let's open android studio here we have in android studio but to remember one thing the firebase assistant comes with android studio version 2.2 or above if you have android studio version lower than 2.2 then update your android studio to latest version so on the top right corner you have to sign in with your gmail on which you have the firebase account created i have already signed in so let's click on tools and then firebase firebase assistant will be open here you have multiple options you can select your option what you want if you want to track analytics of your app or if you want to authenticate users using firebase <coughs> or if you want to use the real-time database of firebase so uh, <coughs> we will uh, use a real-time database because <coughs> we will be using it on our coming videos <coughs> so click on it save and view data first thing <coughs> connect to firebase so click on it it will open a browser firebase console so here firebase console is uh, open if you have multiple projects uh, created in your firebase <coughs> then you have to select your project which you want to connect with uh, your android app so here we have only one project that we created in our previous video so click on it click on connect so now uh, your android studio project is connected to your firebase android app so let's get back to android studio and see yes here you can see uh, android studio says connected and here the pop-up come up as your app is now connected to firebase so <coughs> now we have to add the real-time database dependencies so click on add the real-time database to your app so click on accept changes it will add the required dependencies in android studio so click on accept changes now let's wait for some time to build this glider studio says dependencies set up correctly so we have no error if we navigate to build.gradle then we can see here firebase database dependencies is added so we have successfully connected our app to firebase project and we have successfully added the firebase real-time database dependency so uh, that's it for this video